Okay, I've pictured here a couple of bloom nutrient formulations. These four are just kind of a random assortment, but you'll notice that they all say the word bloom on them. Typically what that means is a high middle number, which stands for the phosphorus. Remember, it's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. However, this is uh, not maybe always the case. If we look at this one, while it does say bloom, uh, the phosphorus is actually the same amount as the potassium here. Uh, so keep in mind, just because it says bloom, don't assume it's always going to be a higher phosphorus number. But you have to look more specifically. This is why you should be reading all of the nutrient labels there. So uh, flowering fertilizers. Well, bloom fertilizers typically contain more phosphorus to encourage and support flowering. However, growers often excessively add phosphorus, which can lead to groundwater contamination. So the phosphorus in soils has a very uh, complex kind of system of components and inputs and losses. Uh, some can be runoff, but if it is over applied, this is where we get into problems where there's usually leaching. This is usually minor because it should be minor if you're adding the proper amount. However, if you're over adding, you can contaminate not only drinking water, but local area uh, freshwater systems. So an example of that by over adding phosphorus can lead to algal blooms in both a small scale, so we see here, and a large scale. This is a satellite image. This can be looking uh, as far away as the Great Lakes we can see uh, algal blooms, uh, particularly related to excessive uh, phosphorus added to that water system. Now the path of phosphorus to farms and growers, well it's, a lot of it's mined in Florida. Uh, this is Utah pictured here. There are some other areas. Uh, it's shipped to the Corn Belt as fertilizer. It's applied to corn and soybean fields on a large scale. The grain containing phosphorus can be shipped to the Corn Belt and then to Yukon, and the grain fed then to livestock, and the manure applied close to the barn areas. As a result, the phosphorus that was originally mined in Florida, yes, went to the Corn Belt to help grow the corn, fed to the animals, and then applied as manure. This means phosphorus from Florida can accumulate in Yukon soils. The same thing could happen uh, to small-scale growers, where it's mined in Florida, shipped as fertilizer, and applied, and applied sadly in excessive, can lead to an accumulation in a problem. So why is this generally uh, an issue? And we look at the world phosphorus fertilizer supplies. We see the current U.S. reserves of phosphate will be exhausted around the year 2050 by current estimates. Most of the phosphate is from Florida. Five countries control 87% of the world phosphate reserves. We see the U.S. only 7.8% with Morocco and China being the vast majority. World reserves are estimated to last about 90 years. So as a result, Morocco and China could be what's considered the OPEC of phosphorus in the future. Uh, this graph here shows uh, the U.S. net imports of rock phosphate from 1900 to 2015. And you can see for the vast majority of the early going from about uh, the mid-90s back, we exported a lot. However, now we're seeing an increase in the amount of imports. Now take care of today and you'll take care of tomorrow. We must be mindful of this problem and manage this nutrient in a sustainable way. Wasting something that can cause environmental damage and is essentially running out is not good stewardship. We see the U.S. mine rock phosphate. Now, while it did increase, we see it dropping here. This is not because of reduction in use. If we go back here, while the U.S. mine phosphate is going down, going back, remember, we are starting to import more. So what's occurring is we're mining less and we're importing more. And this is a particular nutrient that is essential for plants. But as I said, if we are over applying it, that can cause groundwater contamination, which is not good. And we're now reliant more on other countries for this vital nutrient for plants.